Hello and welcome. Today we are going to look at how to add a stopwatch or timer overlay to your videos so you can show how long something takes. Now, just like any other stopwatch, you'll be able to start it when the action starts and you'll be able to stop it at the precise moment when the action finishes and show the duration. Now, the good news is no matter what video editing software you use, you have everything you need already. So there are no downloads or plugins required to do this. The other good news is that it's really not that difficult to do. So stay tuned and let's find out how it's done. So our first step is to create our stopwatch video. We're going to do this using the screen recording function. So I'm going to start recording. And I'm going to go to the clock application and select the stopwatch. Now I'm going to wait a few seconds and that will give me some time at the beginning of the video where you can explain what is happening before you start the stopwatch. Probably around about 10 seconds is a good time. Then we're simply going to start the stopwatch and let it run as long as we want our video to be. I'm going to run this one for about a minute. Okay, so we're coming up on a minute now. It doesn't matter what the exact time point is. But we're going to just stop that at this point and then we're going to stop our recording. Okay, now that we have finished recording our video, let's go into photos. And we're going to edit it and all we're going to do is crop it. I just want this section here, and that's it. Okay, here is my iPhone recorded video, and what I'm just going to do before I start working on it further is trim it. So I'm going to open it just in the QuickTime viewer, and we're going to trim. I'm going to grab this one here. Now you'll notice that the count doesn't begin until around 22 seconds. So I don't need all this up front. So I'm going to go back to around about, let's say about 14 seconds. So that gives me about eight seconds with the clock at zero. And I'll trim it there and we'll save it as Stopwatch, one minute. And there we have it. Now I'm using PowerDirector by Cyberlink, but you should be able to emulate the same process with pretty much any video editing software. So you'll see in my library, I have two videos. I have a video of some guys river surfing. And I have, of course, the timer that we just generated using the iPhone. Now, what I want to do is bring this down into my timeline as my first video. What I want to do is time the runs for some of these guys. So if you watch the guy on the left here, he's about to jump in. And what I'd like to do is to put a stopwatch to see how long his surfing ride is. So let's back it up to the point where he hits the water, which is right around there. So that's where I want my stopwatch to start. So let's grab the stopwatch and pull it down onto track two. Okay, so first off, it's much too big. So let's just make it a little smaller, something like that. 
And maybe we'll also just make it look a little nicer by putting a frame on it. Something like that. Okay. So as you can see, it's not quite synced up yet. It's already at 1.9 seconds. So what we need to do is drag it a little bit. A little further. Oh, it could be pretty close here. That looks pretty good. So the stopwatch now begins the moment he hits the water. Okay, so let's now go through to the point where he wipes out. So I've watched this before, so it's right around, I think it's a nice good run. It's right around 35 seconds there he goes. Okay, now what I want to get is the point where his feet leave the board. So let's give him the benefit of the doubt there. Yep, I think right there. So 30.52 seconds. Okay, so how are we going to capture that as the stop time? The way we're going to do it is by taking a snapshot at exactly this moment. And we're going to save it, wipe out, and you'll see my JPEG appears up here. And now we're just going to bring this guy in and overlay it. So what it looks like now is as we get to the point where he wipes out. So we've captured that point, but of course what we'd like for this to happen is for the motion to continue and only for the stopwatch to freeze. And the way we're going to do that is by cropping, or in the case of Power Director, where cropping is a little bit unusual, we're going to use a mask. So we're going to take our snapshot. We're going to go to Tools over here and go to the Mask Designer. First we're going to just select a square Mask Designer and then under Object Settings, very important, turn off Maintain Aspect Ratio so we can create a freeform crop. So now we're just going to crop in just on our time. Right there. Okay. And now, if we just go back a few seconds, this is what it looks like. But if you have a longer clip and you don't want to subject your audience to having to watch the entire thing, of course you can cut sections of this out. The main thing is that when you do that, you need to make sure that all your clips remain in sync. So let's just, as an example, cut this one, let's say from around about 17 seconds here, I'll insert a cut, cutting both of my tracks here. I'll then go to around about 32 seconds, put in another cut. So let's remove this section. And now I'm going to leave the gap so everything up here still remains fully synchronized. And let's put in perhaps a title. We'll make it just perhaps five seconds. And we'll crossfade it a little bit.
And we'll just put in something like this. And we'll put that in the middle. Okay, now I'm going to bring just this one up to make sure I get my crossfade. And now I'll grab both of these and line them back up with the starting point. And so now let's see what that looks like. Looks good to me. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to put those into the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, please consider hitting the like button and also consider subscribing to our channel where there will be a lot more content around Insta360 and technology in general. Thank you again for watching.